uh, from uh, the NDP on this particular uh, concurrence motion. Thank you. Questions and comments. Kestiana Kamantu, the Honourable Member for Caribou Prince George. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank our Honourable Colleague. He, you know, he is a good soldier. He goes on and on and on, and he quotes lots of things. Well, I'd like to quote something from the media. It's breaking news, and perhaps he'd like to check his phone about a breaking news right now of a, a Liberal MP that secretly advised a Chinese diplomat in 2021 to delay the freeing of the two Michaels. I would like to ask this uh, Honourable Colleague for a comment onto that. The, honor, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, I'm sitting here, Mr. Speaker. I've been speaking for the last 15 minutes, uh, not including interruptions. I'm unaware of the breaking news uh, uh, that this member uh, is referencing. I'm, I'm looking forward to look into it. But we see, once again here, Mr. Speaker, the exact same rhetoric that comes from Conservatives, the exact same thing that the member from Red Deer Lacombe was trying to do when he, walking through an airport, looking like the hero on his way back to Ottawa, was saying, I'm on my way to Ottawa to fight for you and deal with the agents of Beijing. Come on. That's not what this place is supposed to be about, Mr. Speaker. The rhetoric that comes from Conservatives, including that last question, is intentionally uh, trying to mislead Canadians, and I find it extremely unfortunate. Fascination and smear, and we said no to Liberals. We have to find a way that we can start getting answers. It was the New Democrats that were the first party, our leader, to call for a public inquiry. Mm -hmm. And tonight, we are the ones leading this discussion, and we need this tonight, Madam Speaker, because we are in a situation where we've just got these allegations that I think are explosive that a sitting Member of Parliament may have advised a senior Chinese official over the illegal detention, the hostage-taking of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavar, the ones we know as the two Michaels. Mm -hmm. And that hostage-taking of those two men was a real line that was crossed, I think, in this new century in terms of the breakdown of international order and international law. And it was incumbent upon all of us, regardless of party, to put the interests of those men and their family first. Now, I know the member in question has been accused. I've sat with him on committee, and I am not here to say whether or not those allegations are true. But I'm saying these allegations are so explosive that the Prime Minister must respond. And one of the ways the Prime Minister must respond now is by following the New Democrat call for a public inquiry to restore confidence. Channel report. My family came to Canada for freedom. I have had the privilege of being elected to this House, and I believe I have served honorably and pledged to continue to serve honorably and fulfill my oath of office. I will continue to serve the residents of Down Valley North as an independent member of this House. I am taking this extraordinary step because to sitting to sitting the government caucus is a privilege, and my presence there may be seen by some as a conflict of duty, and the wrong place to be as an independent investigation pursues the facts in this matter. I will be sitting as an independent so that business of government and indeed the business of parliament is not interrupted as I work to clear my name and the truth is presented to Parliament and to Canadian people. I am a proud Liberal, and I am proud of the work our government does day in and day out to serve the people of Canada. I also don't want to distract from that important work. Before concluding, I want to assure Mr. Michael Spavert and Mr. Michael Covert and their families that I did nothing to cause them any harm. Like everyone in this House, I worked hard and advocated for their interest as a parliamentarian. 
The allegations made against me are as false as the ones made against you. To my constituents, I will continue to work on your behalf as your Member of Parliament. To my staff, I thank you. I know the days ahead will be difficult, but I will be there to support you as we continue to serve the people of Dalmali North. To my family, and in particular, my parents, who brought us here to Canada. To my wife, Sophie, and my kids, I love you. I thank you for all the support and love you gave me. The truth will protect us. Our honor and our family will get through this together. Sorry about the house. Thank you, Speaker. <laughs> I want to thank the member for his statement uh, to assure him that the House will be making the appropriate changes to the seating plan. I'll take a take a quick breather here for a few moments before we go back to cues and uh, cues and comments. as your Member of Parliament. To my staff, I thank you. I know the days ahead will be difficult, but I will be there to support you as we continue to serve the people of Dalmali North. To okay, let's get back to the orders of the day.